Okay, here's my Orion LaserMate Deluxe 2 laser collimator. I'm going to show you how to collimate my uh, Orion XT8 daub. I've used this collimator with my 4.5 inch auto tracker and the 4.5 inch Star Blast as well. Orion has quite a good video on this already. I encourage you to go ahead and watch it. I'm just shooting my own version so you can see alternative views of the product and how it works. Any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Here goes. Okay, so the manual tells you that you should put the collimator into the focuser so that it's level. And the easiest way for me to do that is go ahead and just take the uh, one and a quarter inch adapter out and then put the collimator in. They tell you not to tighten these knobs, but I go ahead and do it. Now it's nice and snug in my adapter, and then I'll go ahead and put it in the focuser. So now it's in the focuser. I'm going to uh, turn this around so it's facing the primary mirror. Because when you collimate the primary, you need to look up towards this grid. I'll tighten everything down and turn on the collimator. Now, I've intentionally thrown this out of collimation. You can see the red dot up and to the right of the center dot on my primary mirror. When you tighten the secondary screws with an Allen wrench or Bob's knobs if you have some of those, you end up moving the laser closer to the center spot and little tweaks of the screws will bring it closer to center. You loosen one screw and then tighten another to bring it back in. And see I'm getting pretty close just with minor movements. Just little movements of these screws. And what you want to do is get it into that center spot right there and it can be a little tedious but uh, with enough practice you can get pretty close and now I've got it pretty well centered so before you collimate the primary you have to loosen each of these screws so that you can make the minor adjustments on the uh, primary mirror. When you're done you can tighten these up. Now what you want to do is you want to have that collimator pointed in this direction so you can look at that grid and the dot will actually move across that grid as you move the primary mirror. And you can see the dot come out as I tweak that. Now I'll make it come out to the left, I can go to the right, and you want to have it kind of spread out across the middle. It's easier to do when it's dark. You can see the uh, the red light kind of spread out broadly. But what I do is I move the laser dot uh, equally on either side of the center spot of that grid and just kind of estimate where the middle is and I'll move it in all three directions to try and figure out where center dead center is and so if I move the laser little by little I can just guess and see where uh, center is I'm almost there and that's probably about right so then I'll go ahead and tighten the uh, primary screws and that'll shift the dot as you tighten but when you tighten all three down it'll move that dot right back into the center where you need it and once you've got your primary aligned you're done it's a real quick way to get uh, collimated and if you want to check your work you pull out a Cheshire Look down the Cheshire and check your uh, crosshairs and your center dot. And so all you have to do is turn off the collimator, pull it out, 
put your Cheshire in and point your uh, scope towards a bright light source. Luckily the wall I'm facing right now is uh, bright enough. Line up the crosshairs. Look at your center dot. And you can tell if you're close. If your uh, laser collimator was off, you'd be able to tell with the Cheshire. Here's the view through the Cheshire. You can see the crosshairs line up in the uh, center spot and uh, reflection is off-center, not a concentric donut. And here's the view through the collimation cap. You can see the off-center donut and center spot. Uh, the reason why I go with the collimation cap after a Cheshire is because the Cheshire for some reason isn't bright enough to show me the center spot uh, to get a, a perfect collimation. So if you really want to check your work, uh, verify it with a Cheshire and then move to the collimation cap to get the tiny dot in the center. Okay, I've brought the telescope to a darker part of the house so you can see how the uh, red light from the laser fans out on that grid. I've already loosened the primary screws again. I'm going to tweak the primary mirror to get the dot closer to the center. And as I move it, you'll see how the light spreads out. I'm going to loosen this. down, move the dot up, it's roughly centered, move it across, and the little tweaks of this laser will get you collimated. And this sure beats going back and forth from end to end with the uh, Cheshire. It's a lot less work. You can actively look and see what you're doing as you move these screws. And I think I'm pretty close. I'm going to check it again just to see where that dot comes out. But you can see that center spot on the grid. And you can see where the dot moves relative to that and how the light changes, how it fans out on the grid. Alright, I think I'm pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and tighten the primary screws. Make sure you don't tighten them down too much. You don't want to pinch the mirror. That will actually cause problems. So to recap, uh, to collimate with this laser collimator, make sure it's level on the focuser so that the laser is pointing straight down the tube. Then collimate your secondary mirror by loosening uh, one secondary screw at a time. Loosen one screw, tighten one screw. You'll learn which direction each screw pushes the dot. Put that center dot on top of your center spot on your primary mirror. Tighten your secondary screws and then come to the back. Loosen your primary screws. Look at the grid here at the back of the collimator. Put that dot in the center of the grid so that the red light fans out across the entire field of this grid. Tighten your primary screws and then do a star test or verify with a Cheshire and collimation cap. Thanks. Any questions? Leave them below.